Hello everybody, this is Awesomeness Mike here, and today we are here in my survival Minecraft world, and yeah, so we're here in my Minecraft survival world, and this is the world where I'm going to be doing my world, my world tour, well, this is my world tour, but this is where I'm going to be doing my, well, my survival episodes. So here's the village I live in, it's partly desert and partly regular but there's a chest here is actually my first house for here is my bed and then we have a map of the world some of my tests I need to do so if we go in here if you look in the bottom there there's where I am well where I guess my town is you're gonna see a bunch of you're gonna see some similar builds in this world and there's an infinite water source, and here, we're going to go into the nether, and, and here, there's nothing much over there, as you can see, but if we go over here, then you'll see some other interesting stuff. So, you can see these cobblestone slabs on the ground, and they actually point back to the nether portal, so if you're exploring the another fortress then you won't get lost so over here so you can see I have some paths here's one of my farms I'm like my automatic farm it's not as efficient anymore so I'm probably gonna take that down here's my automatic cobblestone farm well, it's not fully automatic you have to still mine but all the cobblestone goes in there here is my strip mine I'm going through this pretty quickly, but if we go down here, then you'll see that it's actually not a lot. I only have like four mines. As you can see, they go on for a while. That one's not that complete yet, but I usually spend like an hour in them, just strip mining, which I have usually now been going into natural caves to mine for resources since I feel like that's better, well for me at least. Here's a tree farm, some saplings and apples in there, and you can go up here, and you can put all the bone meal in those chests, you can see it from the top. There's a desert temple, and a quick story about that desert temple, it spawned partially in a lake, and partially on land, but I'll tell you that later. Here's a chicken coop, a few chickens in there, and... And here it's actually a working chicken coop so if you go in here then you can see a bunch of eggs apparently a chicken died as you can see so yeah you just put the trees in there you can flip that lever and got some apples there also so you could probably eat those it's not a great source of apples though so we go over here to the barn then you can see we have some fields we can dig and we go in here then you can see we have some animals in here and some chickens some sheep pigs and cows just the usual and yeah here are the crops so if you wonder why I haven't been uploading for a while is because I actually got the flu. So yeah, I had the flu and I wasn't sounding like good. I barely had any energy and I'm still kind of sick now. So my voice might feel sound a little weird. That's a really long tunnel and by really long, I mean very long. And yeah. It goes to uh, one of the snow biomes in my world, a big one, so I can make an ice farm, and also I'll be able to make a snow farm. Over here we have a zombie farm. If we press this button with these few zombies in here, they'll burn. This actually takes a while, so let's just wait for them. So yeah, dying, all their, all their drops collect in there, and, they t and it takes them down just to enough health 
to where you can punch them. And over here is a gap. I gotta fix that. Buy some stone. So, if we go up here. Um, there's nothing much there to show you. Or, I forgot. I'll show you the map of where that super long tunnel goes, actually. So, if we go in here, uh, miss the door, and turn this map around, you can see. So, that's where I am right now. And me and my friend dug, dug a tunnel all the way up there to that snow biome. So, hopefully that's going to be very useful. And I'm going to be making an ice boat road for it. So, yeah. If we go over there, that's my second house that I built. But first I'm going to go show you one of the other farms. Over here is my skeleton and spider spawners. The spider spawner, well, the, the spider farm isn't working, but the skeleton spawn, the skeleton farm is working, and it's basically the same thing as the zombie spawner, well, the zombie farm. I keep calling them spawners. Well, they do come from spawners. If you go over here, you'll see some skeletons. They should drop down there. I don't know, maybe we need to fix that. But all the drops collecting there. You can see I have a bunch of bows and arrows. And I just collected the bone meal, the bones to make into bone meal for the tree farm. So that uses bone meal pretty quick. But as you can see, it's the same as a zombie farm. Just dispenses some lava and they'll burn in just enough time to then kill them. So then go back up here real quick and so I told you this uh, spider farm wasn't working uh, so yeah I'm not gonna show you that but hopefully I'll be making a new version so then I could do use some string I don't know maybe even make some wool out of it but I don't know we'll see so here is my second house actually so here's the dining room table and some seats you can actually sit in. And nothing much. But then if we go in here to the kitchen. A little like counter I guess. I don't know what this is called. But I thought it would just look cool. A fridge where if you put like items in there it will just dispense. And that's really it for the kitchen. Over here is the living room. We have a little sofa with a TV. And if I go down here. Then, you can see my main storage area, really. So, here's my automatic squelter. You put coal or fuel in there. Items at the top, and then they'll go down to the bottom. Smelted stuff like iron. So now, if we go up here, here's my bedroom. Well, my older bedroom. Uh, nothing much there. But then, if we go in here, here's the guest bedroom. Anybody who's visiting my world can just sleep. But now we can go down here. And we'll see what's next. So we have a few paths. So yeah, over here is the, is the desert temple that I'm going to be making into a secret base. I have no idea what the secret base is going to be made out of. I feel like quartz since that would look cool. But I don't know, it'll be kind of hard to get it, I guess. But here's another house that you might just be familiar with. Here's my really main house. I'm not actually done furnishing it. Here's the backyard and the pool. So you can see some lights. Down here is my dog house. And you can see I have a bunch of dogs. But instead of going out to the woods to look for them, I just breed them since that's way easier. I should breed them soon again. So then, go over here. Uh, here's the basement. And if you press this button, you have some furnaces. I feel like I'm gonna be making an automatic smelter, probably in the secret base. But there's a little hidden button there. I'll show you what that does later. Because. Actually, it like connects to the secret base, you'll see in a second. 
so it's getting dark right now. I'm gonna go up to my bedroom. Here's like the, I don't know what to call it, like the third story. So here's my bed, you can sleep in it. It's a blue bed, and we can get out. And now it's morning again. So, I actually have an act, but there's nothing much, but there you just saw what the button actually did. A small kitchen, probably gonna make a dining table there. So, if we go out here, here's a little balcony, you can see my town, and there's a bridge, and there's a zombie over here, so let's just kill that. Took some damage there. So over here, the button made like a bridge that just popped out of the ground, and there it pops down, and there's two buttons you can press, but there's nothing really in here, it's just regular. Just went down here to get the loot, so that's really it for that. So, I guess I'm just gonna swim back. That's actually almost it for... Well, that's it. It is it for my world tour. Well, at least for now. So, I'm going to be making videos on this world. And, so actually, the story is real quick. So, the Desert Temple was, was in the land. But that's it.